Let's do a little bit of strumming on uh, an exercise found in my fabulous chord book. What do we got here? Page four. I'm going to do example four, which is E minor, D7, C7, B7. So we're getting into some sevens and minors here. That's number four on page four. Um, this song, I, where I got the idea for this progression was a, a couple of songs, 16 Tons by Merle Travis and Stray Cat Strut by the Stray Cats. It kind of sounds like those songs a little bit. Uh, we'll see, E minor. I'm gonna have you use middle and ring if you could, E minor. Try not to use index and middle. Middle and ring. Okay, we're gonna hit start there. Then you gotta pick up your, watch middle and ring. They're already at second fret. Watch them go to second fret for D7. So these fingers stay on the same fret. That's why you use middle and ring here. All right, so middle finger on third string, second fret A. Ring finger on second fret, first string F sharp. And pointer finger, we save that for first fret on a lot of chords. That's on first fret, second string C. And you're gonna hit four strings. D7. So you're gonna go E minor, D7, C7, which is just like a normal C, except you add your pinky on the third string, third fret, B flat. Okay, you know C, right? Ring, middle, index, three, two, one. Ring is on a C note, middle's on an E note, pointer finger's on a C note. You, you hit five strings. But to make it C7, drop your pinky on the third string, third fret. Now, notice things like this. Here's D7 to C7. Watch my pointer finger. Check it out, D7 to C7. It stays in place. That saves us a little bit of time and, uh, you know, whoa. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be E minor, D7, C7, and B7. These chords are all shown on that page. Okay. Middle finger, fifth string, second fret for B7. That's a B. Pointer finger, fourth string, first fret. That's a D sharp. Ring finger, third string, second fret A. By the way, it's a great shape. You can go. Movable shape, totally cool. Anyway, that's a two, one, two. Open B. And first string, pinky, presses down on second fret, F sharp. So B7 sounds like this when you play it slow. So do the whole thing. It'll be like this E minor, D7, C7, B7. Check it out. When you go from B7 to E minor, your middle finger is already in the right place. So just get ring finger over and let the others off. Watch that. Watch again. B7, E minor. This finger stays in place. That's an anchor, and that's really cool. So I hope that you can do that. If you can't, take your time. You can just... Forget about this video and just go practice those. Take your time. Don't rush. Don't get flustered. Just, if you get frustrated, just slow down. Breathe. Stop. 
relax, come back to it. Just hit it every day, you'll have it. Don't sit there and get yourself all wound up like I do. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's try it at 34 beats a minute. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, repeat. Okay, notice when I strum, I'm kind of, I'm not going, I'm not punching it, I'm really cool with it, maybe. Just make it kind of float. Don't scrub it, punch it, scrape it, grind it. Make it beautiful. That's in your hands. You have to use your ears and your hands. If it's sounding nasty, figure out why. This is how you figure it out. Loosen up, soften up. Get, if you're really tense, find that tension in and get rid of it. Like if your forearm is tense or you're crushing it, lighten up. And if you're not breathing, you know, sometimes people hold their breath when they practice and they about pass out, man. Like, you're turning blue. <laughs> Breathe. All right, let's crank it up from 34. Let's go to 61. Two. Same thing. There you go. One, two, three, four, one, two. You load six. to the company store, something like that, or Stray Cat Strut. Same thing, man. Let's crank it up. Let's go 84, two, here we go. Cool, man. Let's crank it up a little bit. Let's go 133. One, two, there you go.
Now you can start doing some other 